Oh, 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 I really should have cut her nails. <sighs> You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> It is Thursday work day, and if it gets any darker out here, I'm gonna think the sun is going down. It's only about 8.30, and it is so dark, and it's supposed to rain. So we're gonna see how much we can get done today, and Eric is already watering the Oyas, and Lyndon is out looking around, and so stay with us. <laughs> So there is the most huge spider on my back porch. I saw a notification on my phone from my video doorbell in the back, and it looked like a bat or a bird had gotten caught in a web. It was just this big white thing right in front of the camera. And, uh, and so I went out to look and see if there was some butterfly or moth or something stuck in there. And this huge spider crossed in front of my face. Take a look. Uh-oh, <laughs> she stepped in my teeth. Okay, there are, I believe, two of these mugs left. So get your $40 donation in to PayPal and, <sighs> and that'll be that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been lacerated. Uh, the last two Thursday work days we didn't get uh, to film and so I was going to film today <laughs> and it is really dark and we're going to repot these geraniums that have literally been here for 25 years. Now some of the plants have been replaced but some haven't and it's just amazing geraniums are the most sturdy plant there is. Uh, I'm going to take some more oranges off the tree and Denora is going to juice those tomorrow. Take a picture right now because then no more. <laughs> it's beautiful. They're hard, but I think they'll soften up. And the fuchsia camellias have popped. Take a look. Okay, it hasn't even been five minutes since I just recorded that and we hear the rain coming. My neighbor just went by and she said the rain is coming from Malibu. And it was within one minute it was here, right? Yeah, what are we gonna yeah, do? We can move everything. Well, it, what are we going to do in the rain, though? How are we going to work in the rain? No, no. No, That's no. That's not a good idea for rain. No. So, okay. It's, it's coming. It's coming. Yes. Okay. okay. Do you have a raincoat? No. You, have, you don't have a raincoat? Okay, I'll get you one. All right. So what we're going to do instead of, uh, we were going to like repot these, uh, I mean, these yeah. geraniums are root bound and we were going to give them some fresh soil and stuff. So I'm just going to move them out so that they get, get rain because the overhang of the house, they don't get rain right here. Just 
Okay, we have lightning. This is great. It's we're not going to work out here if there's lightning. That's not going to happen. So we're going to have to find something to do in the house. <laughs> I wanted to quickly point out that these two citrus trees right here, I ordered after the three trees after that trip to Phoenix. And they were in, they came in small pots and we potted those up last week. And uh, we potted those up last week and I'm gonna keep them in pots for a month and uh, see if, uh, see how they do before I figure out where they're gonna go. One day we need to paint it. The doves that nest in this tree every morning, there's droppings here. <laughs> but they're so beautiful, take a look. You have something to do in the garage? Oh. Preparation, mm -hmm. something? Let's go inside. Oh. Where is the fire? Huh? The biggest fire. Oh, Remember? it's in the back. <laughs> yeah, you want to... I want to see. Well, that's not how I expected the day to go. So it rained until three o'clock. And to make use of the day and to make use of Eric, who's a handyman as well as a gardener, we moved some furniture around in the house and um, I had him move all of the furniture out of one bedroom. Hi! And he cleaned the floor and waxed it. I don't know if it's, it's like a floor finish. It's not really a wax. You put this? Okay. Right. So that's drying now, and he moved the geraniums back, and the sky is clear. And it's just after four o'clock. Hi. I just wanted to show you the progress on my potatoes. Aren't they gorgeous? And they are mounded up as high as they'll go in these seven gallon pots. Potatoes break so easily. Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking the videos, and most especially sharing the channel with your friends and helping it grow. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.